to measure thumb metacarpal phalangeal joint extension to flexion, the patient is seated at the table with a hand on the table and you will place the goniometer again on edge on the back of the thumb with the axis of the goniometer centered over the metacarpal phalangeal joint. Go ahead and bring your thumb back as far as you can, way on back. <clears throat> the stationary arm is simply placed flush against the metacarpal. The moving arm is placed flush against the proximal phalanx. Um, notice that if I just put it straight out, I'm going to bridge both the MP and the IP joints and that's not going to give me a true measurement. So what you're going to have to do, since most people have a fair amount of IP joint hyperextension, is kind of run it to the side. And that way you can see the amount of uh, extension they truly have at the MP joint. So we have, can you get any farther back? There you go, very good. We have about minus 10 degrees of extension at the MP joint, and that's not unusual. Most people can't get all the way to zero. And then go ahead and flex your thumb all the way down, okay? And then with full MP joint flexion, there you go, any more than that? There we go, very good. Uh, we have about Oh, 46 degrees of flexion at the MP joint of the thumb.